Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you this uh, USB Type-C 13-in-1 hub made by the company called Byte or BitTech. So let's get started. So this is the uh, Type-C adapter, this is the packaging, is not uh, fancy at all and it's easy to open, which I like. Uh, why do you need a USB Type-C adapter? Because you heard it in the background, uh, my laptop or most laptops have only this uh, USB Type-C port. Most of them only one or two and the MacBooks, for example, uh, they don't have so many. So you're missing Ethernet, you're missing uh, USB uh, A plugs, you're missing uh, Ethernet, you're missing sound, maybe outputs and so on. So this is the um, hub, as you can see here, USB type C on the one side, on the one end, and then we have free USB 2.0, A plugs, two USB 3.0 uh, or 3.1, I think it's 3.0 uh, plugs, uh, also A. Uh, then I think this is an LED light. Here, this little hole. And on the other side, we have HDMI output. We have two micro SD cards. We have uh, two normal SD cards and one micro SD card, and then a USB Type C power delivery uh, plug. But this is not all. We have even more. For those who have an old pro older pro projector or something like this that only supports VGA output, we have a VGA output here. And we have a full-sized uh, Ethernet plug here as well. And somewhere here should be also, there it is, a plug for headphones, a three and a half millimeter plug. So there's an inbuilt sound card as well somehow. And yeah, this is the USB Type-C plug. I will test it out and try it out on my laptop, of course. And I will also try it out on new modern smartphones, just like my Xperia 1 Mark II here, which also has a USB Type-C plug. And this can be very helpful as well if you want to download or transfer something quickly through the network and want to use the full Ethernet um, power of this, or you have to um, yeah, insert lots and lots of memory and want to copy stuff over backup or something like this, or even micro SD cards or HDMI out might be also very useful for a smartphone. So let's try this out and I will run through uh, this and uh, my experience with this device, if this device is good enough and how it compares and competes also a little bit with the older one that I have, which is this uh, Sidecom adapter, which only features free USB free ports, also has a full Ethernet, also has HDMI out and USB PD, also a sound, one SD and micro SD card only. This was very, very expensive. This is cheap in comparison. It has so many plugs and uh, this one has yeah, some issues, just like, for example, the sound is very bad in this case and uh, it gets very hot. So I want to compare this as well a little bit. thing I forgot to mention is that there are markings as well. I, I think you can see it here, which uh, tells you even so these are the free USB 2 plugs, 3.0 plugs, micro SD and SDXC uh, 1 and 2 cards. So it tells you everything here, which is also very cool. And this is the power plug. So you can charge your, um, for example, your laptop with this attached as well. And here you can see also those description, which is pretty nice because on my other adapter that I told you, uh, showed you, uh, as well. There are no markings at all. This is just like empty. So you have to just guess what is what. Uh, so for beginners, it might be more user friendly with this uh, markings here and uh, the written text that tells you what it is. And this here apparently can also output 4K, which is also pretty nice for newer laptop models. And I will try that out as well. So uh, let's start first with the um, Smartphone, we plug it in and what I want to see of course is First I go to the desktop of the smartphone I plugged it in you can see it plugs in without any issue You can see it's holding also firmly, which is nice and it's wants to open up it found a USB free card already card reader is there and We have the option to choose what we want to do 
if you want to have uh, MTP host for downloads, choose an app for a USB device, or the Xperia transfer tool if you want to transfer data or something like this. I choose this, and yeah, let's see what this does. Android system, charging connected device via USB. So it is also detecting the sound card probably in this device, and it is then uh, charging this device as well. So it, it needs a bit of power, of course, and it's taking this from the smartphone if you want to use the um, sound plug. What I want to do is I have a um, five terabyte uh, hard drive, external hard drive, and this external hard drive has a USB, uh, normal USB-A plug 3.0, and I want to plug it into the 3.0 uh, plug here and I want to see if this works. You can see uh, here, you can see it automatically popped up that a new device is there. So this is the file manager that popped up and I think it should also pop up now the hard disk. At least I hear the hard disk clicking a bit. It's a, a two and a half uh, hard disk, not an SSD or something like this. But apparently it's not getting enough power. So what I will, will do now is, this is the problem of the hard disk. So, but the cool thing is this adapter has also the, the USB Type-C power plug here. So what I want to do is have this USB-C cable, I plug it in here, and then I plug in the hard disk, and then it should have enough power for Popping up again here on my smartphone. Then it should have enough power to start. Yeah, it's blinking now. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, it's blinking now. And I think it should pop up. Yeah, now it's working. This is an issue of this hard drive. If you have an SSD that uses less power, you can, of course, uh, don't have this issue where you have to plug in extra power when you want to attach it to your smartphone. But uh, let's explore it here and see. Yeah, I can. I have the full potential of, of seeing everything here. And if I just want to, let's go to this download folder. Let's go to one of my video folders and I just copy a video from yesterday, for example, and I say copy to, and I say copy to my four terabyte data that I have here um, and to the download folder. Let's see how fast it is because it claims USB 3.0. So it needs to be very fast, hopefully. Let's see. You can see, wow, this is really fast. So it's really using USB 3.0 speed. As you can see here, the smartphone, of course, needs to also support USB 3. In this case, it's 3.1 that it supports. So it's very, very quick in uh, yeah, copying over uh, data uh, for the hard disk, which is pretty nice. And it's pretty handy that it has USB Type-C port here for charging as well, because then I can attach even such external drives that need extra power where the smartphone doesn't deliver enough power. So what I prepared right now is my Mate XS here that I want to connect to my Samsung monitor using an HDMI cable that I already plugged in on my hub here. And apropos of the HDMI plug in this little leaflet, you will find what it can support. So it can support on the HDMI port 4K resolution, which is pretty handy, 30 frames per second. A VGA port can only support Full HD and if you want to plug in two monitors via VGA and HDMI, it's possible, but both only support full HD. This little leaflet is pretty handy because you can see even more stuff in here. Just like, for example, all the plugs are uh, mentioned here, but also all the little devices, different devices that you can connect it to are mentioned here as well, as you can see here. So uh, on the other side, there's even more, as you can see here, it's uh, describing the plugs again, and you can see it's also telling you that uh, the SDXC1 and SDXC2 can only be used if you're not using the micro SD card. So either you can use the two normal SD cards or you can use the one SD card and the micro SD card. So they're sharing the uh, ports here, apparently. So. Yeah, very nice, handy little leaflet that tells you everything that you need to know. Uh, aluminium alloy Type-C adapter manual 13-in-1. Yeah, so let's try it on the Mate XS. So I uh, have to plug it in here. 
And uh, by the way, I had to remove this little uh, plug because this uh, this little uh, case for this because the opening here for the USB Type C port is just it doesn't fit through as you can see here. It's just not it's just a bit too big. So if you have a case just like I here for the Mate XS, you might run into issues. So I removed my case and I can plug it in now without any issues to my smartphone. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Here we go and let's turn the device on and as you can see here okay we got like the notification that there's something going on projection is on and i have the option even like i'm not sure if you can see it but here it is like uh, in this phone mode so i can swipe around you can see on the monitor it is like really reacting very fast without any issues but i can also go to the emui desktop mode where it loads uh, a whole desktop and then my phone becomes a mouse pointer and you can see now I'm moving around the mouse pointer maybe you can see it uh, there down there in the bottom there's the mouse pointer I can move around and uh, yeah I can even start applications here in the desktop mode which is pretty nicely done and of course audio support is there also uh, for this device so yeah pretty nice pretty cool and HDMI is working fine on the Mate XS you just have to yeah think about uh, not getting a case just like this one I can show you if I plug in the case in here you can see that uh, yeah now if I try to plug it in it will not hold because I cannot plug it deep enough for it to get a signal so this is one thing that you might run into some issues with uh, USB type C on your smartphone if you have a case on the opening might be not big enough now I have a very fancy connection to test out the headphone jack. You can see I have this X mini um, speaker that I plugged into the headphone jack here. You can of course plug in normal headphones and I attached my Mate uh, 30 Pro here. I had to also put it out of the case. This is why it's a bit higher here. And what we want to do is uh, play some music, test music to see how this will sound. So let's play this here. And you hear maybe in the background it's playing just fine. Just have to keep it down to a few milliseconds. But you see, it has some glitches. Maybe try another one. So there are slight glitches with the audio, slightly stuttering a little bit with the Huawei devices. So Huawei devices I say because I can of course test it out with some other device as well. Just like, for example, I have an LG Wing here, one of the last LG phones. And of course, I can also play some music with this. And here I don't have the issue. Just go to music and just play this one here, for example. And hit play. And I have good sound, very loud sound as well. And no glitches, no issues at all with the LG phone and not only the LG phone but because probably you don't have an LG phone but for example a Sony phone that I have here maybe you don't have a Sony phone but anyway plug it in here uh, say okay don't bother about this and also Katie Milua in the background running fine without any issue pretty good sound quality as well so way better than my other uh, USB Type-C dock that has very bad sound, I have to say. So from the smartphones that I tested, Sony, LG worked. Huawei make a little bit, have some problems. The Xiaomi devices, this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro, uh, have issues that if you even plug it in, they don't support external sound cards. So it cannot work with this one here. So in general, those sound devices work. I can also use my laptop for this. In fact, let's try it out, not with the music stuff, but I want to get the laptop here to tell you one very important thing. If you have a laptop like this, where you only have a USB plug on one side and you have a normal, which is already used, and a USB Type-C plug on the other one, and you want to use Ethernet or something like this, uh, faster internet, what I want to do is, first of all, I, let me plug it in here, open up the laptop, Go in here, plug it into USB Type-C and what I will do is just go to a neutral desktop and what I want to do here is I will attach a LAN cable and 
The way I'm showing you this here is what you have to take a look at is this here, this icon, which is like the network icon, which is currently showing Wi-Fi. And if as soon as I plug this in, you will see that the network should appear. As you can see here, network appears. This icon here on this symbol here. And we have now a network connection. It says also a network connection has been established which is pretty fast. If I take a look here, it says one gigabit per second network. So you have also gigabit network and I already tested it before. It's working perfectly fine. It has the speed that it needs to have. And the cool thing is if I have this set up, let me show you this course shortly here. If I have this set up like this, there you can see the LAN cable here, you can see the box. What I can do as well is here's the power cable. If I didn't have a second power cord here on my uh, HP laptop or your laptop for example what I can do is just plug it into here in this power and take a look here at first the sound and then I think the battery is gone now and let's check where's the battery you can see it's now charging as well and uh, it says even it's like completely charged already so yeah this is working as well so I can even charge my uh, laptop here with a 65 watt power adapter without any issues. I think it goes up to 80, 87 watts that you can charge your devices with. So maybe not the gaming laptop that needs over 100 watt power, but a normal laptop that would work pretty nicely even with this USB-C dock. And everything connected here, even the power running through, and I could even put in some SD cards or something like this. This stays cool. This doesn't get any hot, which is also pretty nice very good and a big difference to the other USB type C hub that I had in the past which got hot pretty the second you literally plugged it in it got very very hot and it was uh, yeah really not um, pleasant to touch it uh, because it can like burn yourself because it's so hot and this one is very very cool to the touch and yeah very solid and works like it should do. So all in all, what can I tell you about this USB Type-C hub? I'm pretty impressed by this. 13 in one points, by the way, uh, I did mention I think in the unboxing that this will light up this LED here. There's an LED that will light up uh, when you have it plugged in. Uh, I'm pretty surprised by its quality, build quality, but also that it's not getting hot and everything's working. Sound quality especially because uh, I had bad experience with different plugs that I had USB-C uh, hubs that had very bad sound quality. Couldn't even for, for cutting those videos, it was like so tinny, so bad audio quality in all the other USB Type-C hubs that I, it was, wasn't really usable. I just plugged in via the USB an external sound card and said, yeah, that's uh, way better than this. But this one is usable. It is usable, it's maybe not usable on Huawei phones for some reason, I don't know why, but it works on other phones well, it works well on the computer as well, and uh, I had no problems with the HDMI port 4K, I don't have a 4K monitor so I cannot output 4K, but in general it would work I think. Uh, VGA, I did not test VGA because I don't have a VGA monitor I have to say, and I'm I don't have a VGA cable to be honest, but uh, the gigabit LAN port is working pretty nicely. Uh, the USB-C uh, power delivery is also working nicely. So it's an in power delivery. It's not like out power. You cannot charge your phone with this. You can, uh, <laughs> you cannot charge your phone with it. That means if you have your phone plugged here with USB, USB type C and you want to charge it via this here, you can of course do, but you cannot do the reverse. So you cannot charge a device by plugging in here. You can only put charge onto another device that is uh, attached to the USB dongle here. Uh, then the micro SD card slots work fine. I copied some files over gigabytes of uh, video files that I'm uh, recording here right now on my uh, camera. Worked without any issues, very fast, very quick. I even did a rendering on the SD card with this hub very quick. I think it is not the quickest speed, but it also depends on the SD card you have. And I think it is USB free um, attached, so it, it should be quick. Um, so no issues with this. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this uh, device and I can tell you yeah if you are searching for such a device and you can see it is like a smartphone size I would say smartphone size maybe a few years ago uh, so it fits into the laptop bag or even if you have a small tech bag that I also have here for example 
Uh, by the way, another interesting product here, uh, a little tech pouch. If you have something that like fits in nicely without any issues and uh, yeah, you can use it then not only for your laptop, but also your smartphone and everything else that has USB type C. And uh, only thing that I read is uh, that it has problems with the MacBook M1, but pretty much every USB type C dock has problems with the MacBook M1. So be careful, just watch or look at the list of uh, Apple supported devices. Otherwise you will run into issue and it might even, if you attach power to it, fry your MacBook M1. But this is an Apple specific problem. It's not the problem of the USB uh, type C hub. And the other hubs that I have all have the same issue with the MacBook M1. So I don't have a MacBook M1. Uh, it's not a problem with Apple in, in particular, for example, the MacBook Pro 50, uh, 2015, 15 inch, I think, that worked fine with this USB Type-C um, uh, device, so no issues there at all. And I think this will be my uh, new main hub that I will use for uh, copying over all the files, also to my hard drive, my five terabyte or four terabyte hard drive that I have. Uh, that I showed you because it's working so fast and it's not getting hot and I don't have this annoyance with this uh, sound output that is so weak or so bad that I really don't want to use it. So this one is a very good hub and uh, yeah for the price if I compare it to all the other hubs, all the other hubs were around 100 euros and this is like under uh, I think currently on Amazon it's even was even under uh, 40 euros otherwise it's a little bit over 40 euros it's like uh, really a bargain just, just 13 in one it works nice it has no big flaws it's not getting hot or anything like this so uh, just just get it <laughs> that's everything for my view video if you have some questions to the hub if you have other great technologies or tech or maybe another hub that has more features or interesting features then you can write it down in the comment section I'm, I'm just thinking what can you do to improve this maybe have a switch of some kind to turn off the audio. So if you want to plug it into your tablet or your phone and want to still have the internal audio running, uh, you have to, you can of course in Android, depending on the version, turn off uh, the, or switch the sound card. But uh, it might be nice to just say, okay, I don't want to use this internal sound card so it doesn't consume also power from the smartphone, which would be, I think, nice. I'm not sure if everything, anything else would need power. Maybe these little LEDs need a little bit of power for, for the Ethernet. Maybe, yeah, have a combination of this button or something else to turn this off as well. So it doesn't use any power at all on a smartphone. That would be also awesome, I would say, uh, at least not using power as long as you don't plug in a hard drive or anything like this. So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.